with campaigning in the final stretch. Opinion polls are running neck and neck, giving no clues as to how the result may go. Here, a rally of young people, more inclined, it's believed, to vote to remain in the European Union. Prime Minister David Cameron was on the steps of his official residence, 10 Downing Street, appealing to older voters, warning of the economic risks of leaving. We will be stronger, we will be safer, we will be better off inside Europe. It is stronger if we stay, if we leave, we put it at risk. That is a risk to jobs, a risk to families, a risk to our children's future. And there is no going back. Vote for your future in Europe. That's the message they're putting across here. And certainly all the economic arguments from bodies around the world would seem to suggest that Britain would be better off inside the EU. In the final televised debate of the campaign, it became clear the issue of controlling borders and taking back national sovereignty was equally important to some. They say we can't do it. We say we can. They say we have no choice but to bow down to Brussels. We say they are woefully underestimating this country and what it can do. And if we vote leave and take back control, I believe that this Thursday can be our country's Independence Day. Reaction among many in the audience of 6,000 was testament perhaps to the strength of feeling in Britain over the manner in which the European Union is being run. A message that will be heard across the continent's half a billion people, and in particular in Brussels. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.